for listening to Real Estate Roundup, Real Estate Roundup. with Realtor Nagaraj Annaya every Sunday from 12.30 p.m. to 1 p.m. PST on Volley 92.3 FM. Namaskar Bay Area, it's Vijay Lakshmi. Welcome to Real Estate Roundup, your glimpse into the state of Bay Area real estate. Businessman and actor Wendell Pierce said it best when he said, that is the heart and soul of the American dream, home ownership, the idea of being able to buy a house and start to build your family. Well, that's a thought that resonates with each of us and helping you be a part of that American dream and to get your foot into the door of your dream home is none other than Nagraj Anaya, your trusted Bay Area realtor and the founder of nagrajhomes.com. So join us as I get talking to Nagraj on how to make the dream of home ownership a reality for you. We are coming to you live on Bali 92.3 FM and on YouTube as well. That's Nagraj Anaya's YouTube channel. Studio lines are now open. You can call in with whatever questions on your mind, real estate wise. If you've been uh, wondering how to really get your foot into that dream home, you're looking to perhaps downsize and sell your home, you're looking to invest in a home or possibly to get into commercial uh, property, whatever it is that's on your mind real estate wise, you have a doubt, you have a clarification, you have a question, give us a call. That number 408-912-5038. That number again, 408 408- 9125038 and don't forget to like share and subscribe uh, nagraj's youtube channel because that's where all the action is everything you need to know about wending your way through real estate and with that let me welcome nagraj hello happy sunday nagraj welcome hello vijay lakshmi happy sunday hello bay listeners happy sunday welcome back vijay lakshmi after a long time yes and good to be here it feels really nice you know blue skies outside and i love the blue shirt you're wearing as well <laughs> yeah it's a blue matching right <laughs> yeah yes if you have any questions on the bay area real estate this is a time you can give us a call it's kind of any no question is a smaller question you can give us a call yeah, yeah. Our studio line numbers, as Vijay Lakshmi mentioned, is 408-912-5038. This number is only for this show, 30-minute show. If you want to reach out to me after the show, we'll give out my number too after the show. But any question on the Bay Area real estate? This is yeah, this give show. out your number, of course. But the good time to uh, tell them that, you know, go on to nagrajhomes.com. That's your one stop for everything real estate. N-A-G-A-R-A-J homes.com. And you can connect with Nagraj right there. Um, through WhatsApp as well. So that is a possibility right there. So yeah, be sure to check out nagrajhomes.com at any point in this conversation or otherwise as well. So uh, let's kick things off, uh, Nagraj, you know, home prices. Of course, there are several conflicting reports. I, I came across this one report. I was trying to catch up what's happening in real estate while I was away. And, uh, you know, it said home buyers are actually revolting over steep prices and uh, home prices continuing to skyrocket, stretching to new highs, high demand, not enough supply, mortgage rates at um, all time highs as always. A lot of people unsure whether to buy or to wait at this time. Is it a green signal or uh, uh, you know, orange, yellow, what do you do? I think let's break down the report. Okay. Yeah. One in the report says interest rates are 7%. Yes. That is not correct. That is, that's 30 year fix they're talking about. Now as a home buyers, they're not going for a 30 year fix. They're going with an arm rates right now. Arm rates right now are 6.25%. Oh, okay. It's a five, five year arms. Okay. Yeah. Because everybody knows if you're, Taking a home, purchasing a mortgage now, basically you can refinance at any point of the time. Recent last week, my client went into a contract. They went with a Bank of America. He got a six point three seven five and five thousand credit back. Mm-hmm. What's the closing cost? So yeah. that one of the report in one of the points, whatever they mentioned, so seven percent is not correct. It's a six point five percent, six point two five to six point three seven five. That's what we are noticing about. And the second, that report was a generic for the complete USA. Mm-hmm. Never mentions about Bay Area. Bay Area, they mentions a couple of slides, a couple of things about a San Jose market, but. San Jose, let me give you one example in the Santa Clara. I was talking before the show also, would you like me like one of the property in Santa Clara, 
the one the seller was like murdered in that property. Uh -huh. It was listed for two point one million. Okay. There was wow. a sensational news created about that home in Santa Clara. That house sold for two hundred k more than the list price. Go. That's a despite two... despite it being despite. like a murder home. Murdered. Home. Yeah. Wow. So, that's People incredible. I was noticing at some point of the time, few years back, if anything, murder or anything on the uh, yeah. that's, that's in the property, it usually slows down. Yes. It was completely dead opposite what we are noticing. 200K above the list price because it's an opportunity. I know there are some buyers get scared of it, but some buyers see it as an opportunity for them to buy it. Mm -hmm. For two years, if they can hold on to that property, when they sell it next time, they no need to mention it or disclose it in the death in the property. Yeah. Okay. They mm -hmm. can sell it for a good price later. Yeah. That's how some investors think about it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's still considered a hot investment. Hot. Despite... The second one is, let me give you one more example in the mountain house. So mountain view. Mountain view it like 1200 square footage was sold for a three million dollars it's almost like a two thousand per square footage wow mm -hmm. so as yeah. we go towards closer to a tech companies what we are noticing like closer to a mountain view closer yes. to like google campus closer to nvidia around right now yeah Mm -hmm. Those Apple around. So all the home prices around here, especially right now, the red hot market, what I see is a Fremont, Evergreen, mm -hmm. Campbell, Camden, Almaden, all these areas, nobody had expected to boom like this. Mm -hmm. Even West San Jose also, closer to a Campbell areas. Already we know that Saratoga, Cupertino, Los Gatos, Los Altos were higher. Yeah. But to join this elite list is one more is Milpitas. Mm -hmm. right? Milpitas, Evergreen, Fremont. Albert. What about Willow Glen? Willow Glen is like, it still is prices already. Elite. <laughs> elite already was there. Yeah. Yeah. But at some point of the time, it's, listeners, if you're one of the home buyers from there, or like you recently bought, or if you yes. want to buy there and you want to share your viewpoint and you put in an offer, but your offer was not accepted, you want to share something, you can give us a call. Uh, our studio line numbers are 408 912 5038. Myself, Nagaraj, and I are talking to Vijay Lakshmi on the various aspects of a Bay Area real estate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And don't, like Nagaraj says, you know, don't rely on just reports because you get the ground realities right here uh, with Nagaraj, who's got his part on the market and really uh, what's happening out there which he can guide you through it all so if you have questions or you've had a successful journey of your own and you have experiences to share with us along the way we'd love to hear you uh, tell us about that or you're struggling with uh, with which way to go which direction to take uh, in the real estate journey that again we'd love to know and Nagraj always wants to help uh, folks understand the market and equip them with what they need to know as they venture in. So 408-912-5038 is the number. Call us in. And of course, if you're looking uh, to get the home of your dreams, you're a first-time home buyer or you're an empty nester looking to downsize or you're looking to invest, um, uh, you know, Nagraj can bring his experience to bear for you in uh, the Bay Area. So feel free to reach out and nagrajhomes.com is the place you want to be. Yes, Nagraj, go ahead. So these are the places to watch out for. Mm -hmm. If you to live in San Jose right now, moving from other parts of the world or like other parts of the country to Bay Area right now, right? Places to live is, I think it's, let's depends on our, first initially when they move in, they might go for the rental properties, right? Let, let's talk about even that one in the San Jose way to reach out. Again, if somebody's moving to a rental properties, they first always needs to consider distance to the office. Yeah. Right? Because the traffic is going to... Commute times, yeah. Commute mm -hmm. times is going to hurt them very badly. So they need to watch out where they stay. And again, they need to come depends on the family stuff also. Like they have the school, school going children and uh, how many kids they have. Based on all the needs of them, they need to decide. So in the San Jose, if you're buying, we already discussed. Right now, the Red Hot City is to consider. Let me repeat it again. It's a Fremont, Evergreen, Almaden, Camden, mm -hmm. Rossmill, 
Oh, Blossom Hill. Wow. Okay. So even then, like I'm talking about Red Hot right now, like where the people are going. Even the Fremont, there are other few places in the mission and other sub stuffs also. So if you like watch out for that. And I think uh, one more city, Adenwood, uh, especially in the Fremont, one more area, Adenwood has grown, like I've seen that from last two months, even the home prices like it's jumped for 300 to 400k. It used to be 1.2, 1.3, or like even last year, some people had bought it for 1.2, 1.3. But now we can notice in even for a thousand two hundred square footage, we are uh, noticing on 1.8 million in the Ardenwood areas. Okay, wow. So, but mm -hmm. you should be very careful as a home buyer. Or, uh, just don't go blindly put an offer because it's just in a competitive market. We should be in this tough market. Let me give you one example. How one my client was able to get it in a mission. Okay, mission Fremont. Like basically it was house was a fixer upper. Mm. It was listed for 1.3. 1.3 million. And we got it for a 1.77 million. Oh, Okay. So 470k more than the list price, and we and my client was able to remodel it for just an hundred k. Wow, that's and pretty cool. Yeah, that's the other thing I want to talk about is because all of this struggling, even the young uh, population, you know, the tech population, which is working uh, in all of these big companies, the the millennials and all of that, you know, but they're still struggling. Uh, with the double income as well to find a home, right? But I see your clients are always happy and buying. So there has to be some mantra for success in cracking that code, right? So what is that? So always need to understand financially how good they are. Okay. How to, because it's whenever somebody seller sees the offer, they need to understand how motivated because they can't come and see how motivated. It's only your offer can present it, can show them, right? Mm -hmm. When two or three offers are very close by, yeah. How do you make a difference. All right. It might be your down payment. It might be your like basically understanding it like number of days of closing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So yeah. sometimes, uh, because a lot of my clients, when they work with me, they don't even go through a pre approval process because I can generate a pre approval myself. Basically, once I understand their income, I'll, I can I can tell them how much you can qualify for them. For mm -hmm. them, you need to go for with the lender ones, no need to go with the realtor ones. It's one person I can basically I understand their income based on understand their credit scores. Yeah. So and you the, always also have the mortgage side of the equation. The side. Yeah. So once, because that is very important to understand because what is the current rates when you're putting an offer? Because you are thinking it as a 6.8 and putting an offer. You're like, basically you're reducing your purchase price also when you put an offer. Mm -hmm. So last week, one of my clients got it in an offer into uh, like uh, Campbell area. Okay. He's, there were two offers were almost close. But still, my client was my client's offer got accepted. The reason is like a down payment. Yeah. How do we present it in such a way that once the seller agent looks at it, oh yeah, he's capable to close this. Mm hmm. Okay. You need to assure them that they're able to make that. That's very important, right? Like that is where the instead of asking the kickback, first ask them like as a, when you when somebody realtors is working with you, ask them. How, how well you can get my offer rate accepted at, at what price you can accept it yeah mm -hmm. what is your success story on that yeah right mm -hmm. so ways and means of getting uh, you know making your way into uh, this kind of precarious uh, situation we are in with Bay Area Real Estate always uh, and to help you do that is Nagraj Anaya, the founder of nagrajhomes.com so give us a call the studio lines are now open it's 408-912-5038 with anything on your mind regarding Bay Area Real Estate and also while you are at it check out uh, and make sure that before you venture into real estate also look at uh, Nagraj's YouTube channel where he has timely insights and advice for you all through the week as the as the Bay Area real estate really unfolds. What is the situation? He helps you, guides you navigate that. So Bay Area, uh, Nagraj Anaya is his handle and you want to go there and like, share and subscribe. But for now, while we have him on air, give us a call 408-912-5038. One more thing, listeners, you can go to nagrajhomes.com if, yes. if you're one of the sellers. You can get an instant value of your what is your current home value. Okay. Right. 
it might be kind of not real accurate, but you can get understand what's an average sales are happening in that neighborhood. You that is excellent. Uh -huh. you, your address, you should be able to get your property value within a few minutes. And the second thing, are you a first time home buyer? Are you a seller who want to understand the complete real estate guide wise? You can still uh, download a uh, complete book, real estate guide. Mm. Very guide from nagrajhomes.com just go to nagrajhomes.com at the bottom of the page there's a real estate guide just enter your name and email id you should be able to download a real estate guide and if you're like for example you're in the process maybe you're in the six months or seven months in the timeline to understand what is the process how it is involved the step-by-step -step process is explained in the real estate guide just wow. do download that you get a valuable insights about the bay area real estate yeah so make sure you don't take a step uh, either way, without uh, checking out uh, nagrajhomes.com, excellent, the home buying and selling process explained to you step by step. And not just that, if you're looking to sell, you can get that accurate valuation on your home right away. And of course, if you want to get in touch and talk to him one on one on what's really what you're reading there or what you've heard in the market, again, that's a you're able to do that as well. There's a WhatsApp connection right there on the website, and you can get in touch with Nagraj right there. And again, the number to call in 408-912-5038. 408 912 um, If you've been grappling with uh, Bay Area estate wondering whether this is actually the best time to either buy or sell um, and just waiting and watching the world go by well this is the time get uh, get a little piece of advice from Nagraj right here um, so Nagraj uh, before jumping into the report uh, yeah did you feel the earthquake yesterday 3.5 I didn't actually but I kind of woke up at four in the morning after so I don't know if that was because of the earthquake or what but <laughs> since we talked about the earthquake so Bay Area is prone to the earthquakes yeah home buyers would you like to buy an earthquake insurance right now uh -huh. home insurances are so expensive also. yeah correct last year whatever the quote I had received after one year the home the insurances are doubled up already uh-huh okay so, Used to be a thousand dollars. People are noticing now. This like the value, the insurance has gone up two thousand dollars now. Whoa! All the insurances have gone up. Now the, even the when you buy the earthquake insurance, it might be like almost too higher than the current home insurance. So, but again, buying your earthquake, we know that Bay Area is prone to the earthquake insurance. Sorry, earthquake. Buying the earthquake addi insurance additionally. It's left to the home buyers, actually. Yeah. So home you recommend it? It's like it depends on the individuals because the prices of the insurance are so much. Yeah. And a lot of companies don't even offer it anymore. Yeah. But the that ones who do point. are just charging an arm and a leg for it. Charging. Because yeah. they say that we want to offer, but our prices are so much. Mm. That's right. If something happens, we might cover, we might not cover. Yes. So then it makes it so, I mean, pointless because when when the, when the it really occasion it's, arises. It's yeah. Scary. One of my buyers who had bought a house recently in a November time frame, they had a roof leaking. They reached out to the insurance company mm. and filed a report. Yeah. The roof replacement cost is covered by the insurance company. Uh-huh. It's a valid cases. Insurance companies do cover it. But getting an expert to help you out is what matters for you, the insurance companies. Because then you need an, a valid licensed contractor to work with you and find out the root cause. What, what when, mm. what, how did it happen? Yeah, that's right. If they can justify the insurance companies should be able to help you out. Mm -hmm. But going... Earthquake insurance, since the prices are expensive, it depends on the, each individuals how they go about it. If they can get an affordable earthquake insurances, do get it. Yeah. Because the Bay Area is a prone for the... Yes. Uh, Alam Rock is the closest or the East Hills is the... Most we are on the earthquake fault. Earthquake almost. fault. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you one question. Is the Sacramento prone for more prone for the earthquakes? No. I don't know. I think the three cities more normally they recommend is Sacramento huh. and San Diego. 
San Sacramento. What was the second one? Fresno. And Fresno. Yeah. Okay. So these are the cities they say less prone to the earthquakes. If you agree or not, you can also give us a call and share your viewpoint. Another we have another few minutes left on the show still. We are talking about the Bay Area real estate and we are talking about the different reports and how does the like even we're talking about the earthquake. If you had felt about the earthquake and you also want to share about your experience on that, do give us a call. Our studio line numbers are 408-912-5038 and myself Nagraj and I are the Bay Area Realtor talking to Vijay Lakshmi on the various aspects of the Bay Area real estate. Our show is, our mantra is all about just educating you and get a right, give you a right set of information for you guys in the Bay Area real estate. Yes, absolutely. And uh, talking about, uh, you know, getting you up to date on all things real estate, you know, there's another question I had and I was wondering, you know, a lot of single women, um, you know, working in tech, working all over, they're looking to really buy a house. Um, and buy a home. Now, how easy or how difficult is, is it for women, single women, to really buy a home in the Bay Area? It's a valid point. And it's it's always, appreci we should appreciate the single woman who wants to buy a house in this Bay Area. Yeah. Two weeks back, no, I think, of course, this week I closed one in a free month. She is a single woman, but working in a tech company, and we were able to close it with a 10% down in a free month. Wow. Okay. Okay. The client was so ten percent down. Ten percent down for a one point four million. The client was so much motivated. They called me up, Nagraj. Can you help me out to buy a house? Okay. Mm. And uh, I'm a single uh, woman working in a tech sector, but I want to buy something for my living here. Okay. We were able to narrow it down close to 1,400 square footage, three bed, two bath. And uh, so, how is such way such a way? Planned is like basically the two beds you can still rent out and you can basically rent out, stay in one one bedroom for yourself. You can create a one source of an income for yourself. Mm -hmm. when okay. they, like basically when the parents come in, yeah, it's occupied, but when the parents are not there, you can still rent out to your friends and family. Totally. You can still get in one additional source of an income yes. and build your wealth slowly. Okay. That's a great suggestion. I yeah. don't need to wait for a 20% down. Correct. See, it's always when you're stuck in some aspects of the life and you want to try other aspects and maybe you get luckier, the other aspects also connects with you very well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. So that is where if something is not working out, try to find something else. So that way, that positiveness can help you to help you out to know moving in other lives of this uh, other parts of the life also that's what happened to this uh, uh, like uh, client who had called me up so i regularly keep on helping this kind of single woman hard working like basically they work in the tech sectors or other parts of it they call me i guide them properly based on their income based on the future goals what they're looking for like are they going to stay in a long term or a short term what is their immediate requirements what about, uh, you know, like a couple who are maybe engaged or living together? Can they buy a home yeah. so, together? See, that's that's what uh, last year, uh, one of my clients bought it in a Campbell area and mm -hmm. bought it for a 1.84 million. Okay. Uh, so still they were able to close it. The only thing is like how you hold the title. You can, you can like instead of community property with, you can hold with a community property with the right mm. of survivorship. Basically both are holding an equal, uh, basically equal partnership or equal uh, thing. Or like the second one is like a joint tenant also. Like basically in the joint tenancy, you can divide how much both co-owns also. I That's see. Good. If somebody wants to getting started in the relationship and they want to know themselves better, they can start always with this kind of like, because if they need a two years or three years to figure out for themselves, it's instead of renting out and staying somewhere else, buy a property for themselves so that your relationship mm -hmm. also can be understood better. Yeah. Start building that equity and start, start building it mm -hmm. also. So finally, these clients before getting a before getting marriage or married, like they bought this house, like they stayed there for six months. The parents, both the parents came in, they loved the house and then finally it gave them the path to get married. Mm -hmm. so the parents, that was a big thing that was already like okay. taken care uh, of. Instead the home of, ownership. This is all the same thing applies for that. Like basically, instead of waiting for the uh, getting uh, permissions, like you can basically 
start doing in this way also so that's where you can start on building on your wealth uh -huh. right okay. even like uh, i've seen like people who have just graduated ended up getting in a small tech jobs right mm. they also like with the help of their parents they start investing in one smaller house for themselves yeah right so always think for the investment wise what you can buy for it and depending on the scenarios for each scenarios like we have a 10% down 15% 20% down even we can do a 5% down also a lot of area like if it's under a 1.1 in a santa clara counties we mm -hmm. can do a 5% down wow that's incredible yeah santa in counties up to 750 780 we can do a five percent down but where you would like to live that is depending on your work preferences you need to narrow down you want mm. to stay something closer to the office or like you want to last uh, last year one of my client bought it in a tracy okay he, what he did was working in a big tech sector and he got an approval for working from home mm. Mm. but he had a for him to we wanted to get started he bought something around close to 850 in tracy tracy hills Okay. Yeah. So that we instead of commuting and you got a work from home approvals, he still works in the Tracy. Mm -hmm. And right. he was clear on his thing, like, I don't want to go more than a million dollars. So yeah. if each individual's requirements are there, based on the requirements, I can surely can look yes. at their preferences based on that, I can guide them. Yes. One thing they can do always is go to nagrajhomes.com, click on a WhatsApp icon, and they can easily connect with them, uh, connect with me, and I can share or talk to them, set up an, a meeting with them, talk to them based on their requirements. Mm -hmm. So there are options, there are opportunities, there are ways, there are means. So don't be stuck with you know certain ideas. Take that first step, as they say, and the universe opens up to you. And of course, Nagraj is there to help you all through the way. Nagrajhomes.com is where you want to be. You want to be on YouTube, Nagraj. Rajanaya's YouTube channel and you want to tune in to our show which happens every Sunday 12.30 p.m. to 1 p.m. and also on Fridays at 6.30 p.m. when Nagraj gets a whole host of folks to talk to you to make you understand uh, all the stakeholders that are around uh, real estate. They come over on that platform to talk to you. Um, so Nagraj, you know, you're doing a great service for the community. Thank you for that. Uh, listeners, like, see, now the air market is changing so much. Every tech people needs to be careful and need to be updating the skills each and every time. It is like the trains are running so fast. If you're into a tech sector, just give yourself like an hour's time for yourself in a week so that you can understand what would be your next in next five years. That is very important when you work in the tech sectors because mm -hmm. the domains are changing. Everything in the medical yeah. To engineering, everything is changing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Same thing applies to the real estate market also. It's changing, but you need to be basically educated so that you can make a right decisions when the need comes in. So if yes. you have any questions on the real estate, do reach out to me at nagarajones.com or call me at 858-880-4577. And thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Thank you, Nagraj. All the best for the coming week to you and our listeners. This is Vijay Lakshmi. Thank you for joining us.